past few months, the newest leader of the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater has brought his expertise and diversity to his new role, and he has big plans for the future of the company. We are so happy to have PBT's new artistic director, Adam W. McKinney, here with us today. Thanks so much for taking time to be here. Heather, it's such a pleasure. So you've been here for a couple of months now. What, what's your background, though, with ballet? Because you have done many things, as you told me. I have. I danced professionally with classical ballet companies, with contemporary companies, with modern companies. I was a tenured professor in ballet prior to my arrival here in Pittsburgh. And so I've had both a performance background, a community engagement background, and an education background. But not just that, because you said that you were also an athlete, you were involved in music, and this is kind of the perfect melody of all of them coming together. Indeed, for me, ballet is this perfect and gorgeous amalgamation of aesthetics and athletics, and so I bring both my athletic background and my arts background to my work. It's fantastic. So you've been here since March. I have. Um, what have you enjoyed this far? being with Pittsburgh Ballet Theater? Uh, I think it's the people. We have a wonderful group of artists. We have 38 artists next season at Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. Uh, it's the work that we get to do in the school. We have a robust school, uh, and certainly all of our community engagement work uh, brings all of our work together at PBT. It's wonderful. And what do you hope to do? I know that the upcoming season starts in a couple of months. Um, what do you have plans for this, this season? Everyone knows Pittsburgh Ballet Theater because of our Nutcracker, but right. what <laughs> folks might not know is that we do four other main stage programs, some with a story ballet uh, bent, uh, and we do open air series performances in Wilmerding, Hartwood Acres, Hazelwood Green uh, this summer, and we always welcome people to come dance with us. I know that people will enjoy those so much because you're able to take in something that you normally can't outside, That's which right. is wonderful. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about what you hope to do with the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater Company. What is your hope and dream for this company? Well, you know, Pittsburgh Ballet Theater is certainly positioned among other arts organizations in Pittsburgh as being, you know, the, a jewel of the arts and culture uh, sector. Uh, my interest is to continue to centralize classical ballet as part of our identity and to bring in new contemporary ideas, new stories to life, and challenge our artists, challenge myself, and challenge our audiences to move the field forward. I think we have a little bit of video. Um, this is from Sleeping Beauty. Tell us about this production. Okay, so this is our most recent production of Sleeping Beauty from May 2023. And this looks to be uh, uh, pas de deux work that is partnering work between a male dancer and a female dancer. It was the first production that I had the pleasure of uh, directing here in Pittsburgh since my arrival on March 15th. And you know, we have to note this too, because I think it is of note that you are PBT's first artistic director of color. What do you think that means and what do you hope to accomplish in that role? Mm, representation matters. Yeah. Um, who we see with whom we engage, the stories that we see on stage, uh, for me, needs to be fully representative of who we are as Pittsburgh. Because that truly is lacking in the field of ballet. We don't see a lot of people of color, a lot of diversity in that area. How do you anticipate drawing people in and welcoming them in to this environment? Uh, I think it has everything to do with widening our doors and making our tables more wide to ensure that people know that they belong. Right. And that has everything to do with representation, as I mentioned, the stories that we tell, and also has to do with our school, making sure that we are inviting young people into the forum earlier. You mentioned the classics, um, and, and that's, I think, what people who aren't in ballet think of, the Nutcracker and Swan Lake and that sort of thing. But do you have new productions that are coming that people haven't heard of, new stories to tell? We do. Uh, in October, we are opening our season with Light in the Dark at the Byam Theater, October 27th to the 29th, and we're commissioning a new amazing, amazing choreographer. Her name is Jennifer Archibald out of New York to create a new work based on the life of Florence Warren, who was a Jewish dancer during World War II and fought in the French Resistance. And so that will premiere on the fifth anniversary of the Tree of Life Massacre, wow. and it demonstrates our commitment to the intersection of arts and social justice. Wonderful. Yeah, we're thrilled about it. That has to be a very powerful performance. 
Yeah, it's going to be great. And so what else are, are you planning for this next season? You mentioned that show. Sure, we have Light in the Dark. We have our Nutcracker, of course. We're doing a great production of Beauty and the Beast, which I'm thrilled about. It's going to be gorgeous. Uh, we have a spring mix program of classical work and contemporary work. And then we're going to finish art out, excuse me, our uh, season with a new Cinderella. It'll be a U.S. premiere of this version of Cinderella. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking some Heather, time to talk with us. Such a pleasure. Thanks for having us. We're so lucky to have you here.